After the sensational return of Jaws to the screen, what could possibly be more terrifying than Jaws 2? The terror continues. In all the vast and unknown depths of the ocean, how could there have been only one? Are you serious? Roy Scheider. I almost hurt my dad. The whole beach looks incredible. Lorraine Gary. <laughs> and Murray Hamilton. Look at this. That's a shark. Look, Brody, you started a panic on a public beach. Now, what if somebody decides to sue us? That's a shock. Did you ever stop to think about that? And I know what a shock looks like because I've seen one up close. And you better do something about this one because I don't intend to go through that hell again. Don't press it this time. I get out there. Hey everyone, P. Rich from Hatchet Boys. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing Jaws 2, the 1978 horror film directed by Jeanette Schwark. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. I love it. Um, so I'm going to kick off the synopsis. Police Chief Brody must protect the citizens of Amity Island after a second monstrous shark begins terrorizing the waters. Four years after the events of the first great white shark that terrorized beachgoers, Amity Island, of, uh, yeah, until that shark was destroyed, uh, Amity Island is at peace until another great white shark appears. Some beachgoers go missing along with a beached, half-eaten whale, killer whale, shows up. Um, Chief Brody starts getting concerned about the incidences and fears that another great white shark is on the loose. Uh, so, yeah, we have uh, Chief Brody, played by Roy Schreider, Helen Brody, played by Lorraine Gary. And uh, we got Murray Hamilton, 
Played by Larry the Mayor. Oh, fucking Larry. Larry the Dick. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so... My first thoughts of this movie... Um, well, I love this sequel. It's a good sequel for a horror movie. Not the best sequel, in my opinion. Um... Like, my favorite sequels, like, sometimes they're better than the original. The, for me, this isn't better than the original. Um, for me, it would be Aliens. I like that better than Alien. Uh, T2 more than uh, Terminator, but Terminator and T2 is like, it's like that. It's so close. It's so close. Um, anyways, what else? Uh, Psycho and Psycho 2. Um, I always prefer uh, the original Psycho over Psycho 2. I know a lot of people love Psycho 2 more, but that was a great like uh, sequel. You know, what I'm trying to say is like um, these sequels that I'm mentioning are sometimes better than the original or like just as good. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, getting back... Diving back into Jaws 2 here. Um, <coughs> yeah. Um, so... Roy Schneider did not want to even appear in this movie. He didn't want to come back in this film, but he had like a, he had recently left uh, a production that he was filming at the time, uh, Deer Hunter, um, which led to like conflicts with Universal Pictures, with, yeah, with them saying uh, he was locked into a multi-film contract with the studio. He agreed, to do it and they forgave him f for leaving the deer hunter uh, so he had to do Jaws too. and uh, the f yeah so yeah so basically yeah he didn't want to do this film at all and either did like half the other cast um Maureen Gary, who plays Ellen Brody, um, she knew, like, executives in, uh, Universal Pictures that got her the role. Like, yeah, she was in the first one, but to get her back into the role, role again, um, uh, what else? Yeah, Roy Schneider and the director, Jenna Schwark, like, they clash frequent we on set like they didn't get along um yeah and there's i think they went through three directors until they got janet schwark in this film so yeah universal one to uh start filming jaws to like right after jaws the first one because it was such a huge success rate um it was like the first start of summer blockbusters and it made so much bank for them like and with these hollywood like studio companies uh production companies they get greedy and they just want more sequels because the first one was so successful and uh yeah and even uh they asked Steven Spielberg to come back, and uh, he said, no, he didn't want to do it. Uh, sequels are like a cheap carny trick, and uh, that uh, he didn't even respond to the producers when they asked him. Uh, but um, eventually, later on, I think it was like a year or two later, um, Steven Spielberg was considering coming back and doing the sequel and uh but he was locked in 
with his contract as well. Of, and he was in the middle of making uh, close encounters of the third kind. So, yeah, he couldn't come back and do it because he was filming that movie as well at the time. Um, but his idea was great, um, how he wanted the movie to go. Um, at first, okay, yeah, so he had two ideas. The first idea involved um, Quint's uh, sons and Brody, Chief, yeah, Chief Brody. Um, yeah, there's another shark that comes back to Amityville or not Amity Island and uh, and so Quint's sons and uh, uh, Brody go hunt down the shark that's kind of interesting with me for the one the the like the movie we got for Jaws 2 it's all right like I'm not big on the teens and all that but I mean it works it does work, and I, I don't mind the movie. Um, it's not that I don't like it. There is some good redeeming qualities in this movie that I do like. But that idea would have been all right. Yeah, okay. But, the yeah, there was another director. Uh, what's his name? Um, <coughs> I'm trying to remember his name. Yeah, the um, Harold Harold uh, Sackler, yeah, uh, he contributed to the first script, but he uh, wasn't like uh, credited, um, and he wrote a prequel based on um, Quint's story. Um, about the sinking of the Indian Monopolis, that would be just, oh, it would be so fucking good, man. Like, I wish they would have took Jaws into that direction. That's what they should have done with Jaws 2, just make a prequel. Because I think, in my opinion, Jaws should have just been a one-off. Like, with a lot of movies, I think they should just be one-offs. Like, Halloween should have been a one-off. What else? Um, Alien should have... No, because then you wouldn't get aliens. Right. So, no. Um, definitely Halloween should have been a one-off. Even though I do like Halloween, too. But the way Carpenter just continued it right... Like, right after... Halloween 78, how it was continued like that same night. That's what I like about Halloween 2. So it's basically just watching like part one, part two, like which I like. But you could have done without part two. Anyways, back to Jaws and not Halloween. <laughs> um, yeah, so like the studios didn't want to go with that. Uh, for John D. Hancock's um, vision of the prequel idea. Um, and it's like, why? Why settle yourself short? That would have been epic. It would have been really scary too, I think. And even with this director, uh, Howard uh, Sackler, um, he started filming Jaws too. But they said it was too dark. The studio didn't want it like that dark. They wanted him to lighten it up. Um, more action and like lighthearted, um, like orientated story. And it's like, well, that's what we get in Jaws too, right? But this director, Howard uh, Sackler, wanted to go like a more darker tone to it and it's like ah oh, these studios always fuck up good ideas anyways um so yeah he kept filming this and then uh universal like 
they're getting tired of um, of his ideas, so they let him go. And uh, yeah, and then Hancock was leading the film or his own material, so they got rid of him. Right, so so that was two directors there um, <laughs> that they let go. And then, yeah, this is after that happened with Hancock. Then they Spielberg then was interested to come back and do that. And Spielberg had in mind to do the prequel idea with Quint's um, story of the the his story in the first one with the indie monopolist sinking. Like that would have been so fucking awesome, man. Anyways, um. Yeah, and then they didn't go with Spielberg, and then they hired, and then it got handed down to Jenna Schwark, and I guess who's best known for Bug? I don't know. Never heard of it. And I don't, me personally, I don't think he's that great of an actor or a director, uh, so I try looking. He's yeah, and film and TV um, director. But yeah, I don't think he's a great director at all. Um, so yeah, back to Jaws 2. So you're open up with two uh, divers um, taking pictures of all the stuff on the sea floor, like just like whatever, right? And they come across the orca. And uh, so they're taking like pictures of them in front of the orca. And uh, you see like a POV coming, like the shark. And then you see the shark for a quick second. What a big bitch this fucking shark is, man. And uh, yeah, and then he eats those two divers. And the cameras, like, when they dropped, well, they were taking pictures of, but the shark was eating them, and then they dropped the camera, and, and the camera's still taking pictures when it hit the seafloor. Um, and then it opens up to, uh, yeah, Brody uh, going to some, like, um, opening of, like, a holiday in hotel or something like that. Then you get to see like um, uh, Helen Brody, his wife, and you see his son Mike and Sean, and you're basically like introduced to like the whole cast in this one scene, um, and then after that, um, you see the shark. Oh, it was, it's great! It's a great. Uh, a uh, great scene for like it opening. You see the shark, its fin and its tail just kind of right coming out of the water and uh, like above the water. And he's swimming towards the, into the harbor, like going into the town. And it's like, I'm coming to get you, Brody. I'm coming, motherfucker. I'm coming to get you. You killed my brother, you dirty bastard. I'm just fucking with his butt. That's the thing about this movie, though. It's like when he's talking to the doctor that's taking the measurements of the whale when the killer whale um, is, like, beached up. Um, it's got, like, huge shark bites out of it. And Roy Schneider's like, he knows what's up. He fucking knows that's a shark's mouth that did the bites, right? And, uh, and then he's like, I, I know, um, dolphins can like communicate like whales and dolphins send signals. Is it possible that a shark can? And she's like, mm -hmm. maybe, yeah. but sharks don't take things personal. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this fucking shark does. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe... Like, do you think that's what it is in this film? Or do you think it's just like a, a rogue shark again? 
But then, and then you watch what Shark or uh, Jaws three, and then fucking Jaws the Revenge, and it's like, yeah, fucking sharks take shit personal. <laughs> but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny. Oh, every time I watch the movie, yeah, I just always think of that. Um. Yeah, that the shark's taking shit personal. Um, he's gonna try to do whatever he can to wipe uh, the Brodies off the face of the fucking earth. <laughs> These sharks. Oh, it's a funny ass shit. Well, that's great. Um, <coughs> yeah, so. After when he see the shark going into the harbor, um, right, and then you get kind of introduced to the kids and stuff. But and then uh, oh, this is my favorite scene. And, well, yeah, I'd say this is like my favorite kill and like scene in this film. So uh, there's like a. Uh, water skier and the girl driving the boat and uh, and then the shark starts following them and you see the POV shot of the shark and then you do see like the shark's back um, the director uh, wanted to show the shark a lot more in this film because the whole um, Alfred like Alfred Hitchcock and like uh, suspense to the film it was already done in the first one and he didn't think you could ever like recreate that type of like um, look and feel to it again. And it, it's like you you could, I think you could if you did it right. But anyways, so he wanted to show the shark a lot more in this film. And um, in my opinion, I mean, there's a few good um, shots with the shark, and it looks. Like, okay, it looks like it kind of did in the first one. Like, uh, and there's other parts where it just looks fucking fake. And, uh, yeah, they got, they had a lot of problems with the sharks in this film, too. Um, yeah, and what they built two sharks, I do believe. Um, Bruce too, <laughs> and they name one of them Fiddle, Fiddle, Fiddle. I think Fidel. Yeah, Fidel. That's it, Fidel. They name one of the sharks Fidel. But anyways, um, so the sharks chasing after this water skier, and it's such a great scene. Um, yeah, so. Hey, hey, Gus, play the cliff for the people. Play the cliff and show them which scene I'm talking about. Menacing and terrifying. The shark has been menacing and terrifying for over a decade. Sharks can only be found in two places on Earth, the northern and southern hemispheres. This shark is called a hammerhead because his head looks like a hammer. These sharks are attacking Nicole Richie. Yes, the shark is a... What the fuck? Look, man, look at that thing's teeth. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> that wasn't the right clip, buddy. You show them the fucking right one, will you? Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah.
gas can. And why in the fuck would you pour it all over yourself and then grab a flare and fucking light it? Why wouldn't you throw the gas like over there? Like, why would you? I know you're in a panic and you're scared, but why would you pour it all over your fucking self and light a fucking flare? But it's a great scene, though. Like, that's great, man. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love that scene. All right. Yeah, I'd say that's like, yeah, my, yeah, I'd give him my favorite scene of the shark, like killing someone. Yeah, great kill. Um, so now the Chief Brody's um, came to s investigate this boat explosion. And he's got an idea. He's got a suspicion that, oh, fuck, it could be another shark, right? And, uh, yeah. Now, and then they, and then he goes to the, uh, mayor, uh, Larry, and he says, oh, we might have another, uh, shark problem. And it's just this fucking expression. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. He's like, oh, what? No. <laughs> he like shrugs it off. Like nobody will even listen to Brody in this. And then I told, uh, I mentioned earlier about the uh, beached up killer whale and Brody notices the shark's uh, mouth. I like to take the measurements of the shark's mouth. And even the doctor's kind of like, like, uh, I don't know about a shark. Like, he's like, well, what else would have done this? Like, basically, right? Um, then uh, they're in, they investigated, like, the divers never came back, but they saw the boat. So now they sent a team to go look for the divers, and, uh, and they gone underwater, um, and they retrieved the camera. And uh, Brody doesn't develop the film yet. Um, next, yeah, so Brody's like knows that there's another shark. Like he's, he knows for sure. Um, so he starts making like bullets like out of poison, his poison bullets or whatever. And uh, anyways, so now the uh it comes next so yeah after he gets the um right and then next scene they're at the beach or whatever and you get the mayor and uh the city camp uh, council or whatever is there and chief priorities up on the watch tower watching out it's another great scene you gotta check out this scene it's great out of the water! Out of the water now! Everybody out! Get out! Get out of there! Get out! Out of the water! What the hell is that idiot doing? Everybody out! Get out of there! Get out! Everyone out!
Let's not make it worse. Come on. Okay, folks, it's all over. Yeah, uh, fucking hilarious. He's like, <laughs> it almost, I swear, it almost sounded like when I watched this last, it almost sounded like someone was like, yelled out, crackhead. <laughs> no. <coughs> I don't, but the guy's like, school of bluefish. And he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I love it. And he's like, hey, wait, guys, come back. Come on. It was, come on. I was trying to. I was trying to help you guys. Come on. Come back. Come on. Come on. Ah. Um, yeah. Um, I always thought that scene was funny. Um, anyway, so. He knows, like, he fucked up. Right? But he still knows the shark's out there. And it's a big bitch, too. <laughs> So anyways, the f and then uh, he, did, he remembered about the film to get developed and then they took it in to get developed and Brody goes and um, goes to see the uh, film being developed and he notices like, he's like, yeah, that's the one. I'm picking this fucking shark out of a fucking, <laughs> a fucking lineup of sharks. That's the one. Uh, no, but and then the pitcher comes in, he notices the shark's eye in the mouth and whatever. Because he saw one up close, right? And I love this part. Like, it's it's good. It's great lines, too. Like, great dialogue. Um, so he, like, goes down to City Hall. And he goes in where they're all at their little meeting. And he's like, oh, yeah? You don't think we have a shark? Well, look at these. I mean, and then, oh my god, this one guy is like, what is it, seaweed? He's like, what? No, it's not fucking seaweed. He's <laughs> like, it's a shark. Look, that's his eye. That's his nose. And, and then he's like, so you trying to tell me? I don't know what a shark looks like. And it's great. And he's like, well, this great line. He's like, but I'm telling you, and I'm telling everybody at this table, that's a shark. And I know what a shark looks like because I've seen one up close. And you better do something about this one because I don't plan or I don't intend to go through that hell again. Love it. Love that line. It's great. And uh, they're like, okay, uh, uh, Martin, we'll, we'll take a look at it and decide for ourselves. And he's like, yeah, you do that. He's like sitting in the chair and they come back out and they fire his ass. It's like, fuck. Anyways, so he's like, all right, fine. You have fun trying to get rid of this fucking shark because I ain't doing a thing about it. You might as well try to do something about it. And so anyways, so he gets drunk as fuck and he just got let go from his job. And it was kind of cool, like, um, you notice the, well, when he comes back home and he's drunk as fuck, you notice um, when he's going in the door, the the uh, the barrel from the first one that him and uh, uh, Richard Dreyfuss uh, floated back in on. It was kind of cool. And they made it like a flower pot out of it. Uh, so, yeah, now the kids, the teenagers, um, Mike and uh, Sean takes along with Mike <coughs> and they go sailing with all the other teenagers and uh, uh, Brody warned uh, Mike not to go in the water not to go sailing that he was grounded but he, he didn't listen to his dad so uh, yeah they're gone uh, sailing and uh, basically from here on out, the, the movie is, yeah, it's slow paced, but there's like no suspense to it. Um, not for a while, kind of. I find it kind of drags. For me, it does. There's not much suspense that builds up. Like, not like in the first one. And like the only good 
characters I think in this movie is um, like Chief Brody and um, Helen, his wife, Helen Brody. Uh, I just, I'm not invested in any of the teenagers whatsoever. Maybe Mike. Um, but anyways, so yeah, they're sailing and then there's like a boat that's going, uh, deep diving underwater to get lobster. And this reveal of the shark is, is not too bad. Um, so one of the divers is trying to grab a lobster, get a lobster, and he keeps going. And then uh, out of nowhere, you just see the shark coming and trying to eat the guy, but he doesn't. He swims um, to the surface, like, real quick. Um, so that guy doesn't even get bitten or die or anything. But, uh, yeah, the, the look of it, because the, the face of the shark from that... Uh, Bowman incident earlier with the girl pouring all the gas on herself and lighting herself on fire and lit the shark on fire. Yeah, you see the clip and whatnot. Um, so its face is all like burnt and scarred. So it looks pretty cool. Like, I think that's a cool idea. And the director wanted to make the shark look scarier, but I mean, not really. It doesn't really do anything, but. I think it kind of looks cool. I don't know. Adds character, more character to the shark now. That's kind of cool. But anyways, and this, uh, this scene coming up with uh, Tina and her boyfriend um, is great. I do like this one kill. You don't see anything, but um, it's a great kill, I think. So, like, they're like going to fool around in their little yacht or sailboat. And, uh, and the shark comes and this smart shark to knocks the guy off. And then he, then the shark hits the boat. So it goes this way. Right. And so the shark is like now <laughs> smart shark. And then he, I'll play the clip for you. Uh, yeah, so uh, circle and then grabs the kid and then just goes real fast with it. It's great. Smacks into the boat. Yeah. And then he eats him. And you see, you don't see much. All you see is like blood coming up. It was great. And, uh, her, her performance is pretty decent, Tina. Like, um, later when you see, uh, uh, police Brody coming to go save, um, the kids, Mike and Sean. <coughs> and they find Tina <coughs> in the sailboat. And, uh, the way she says, like, shark, it was great. She did it great. Uh, she's like, sh, 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 And the way, like, Martin looks at Helen, and it's just like, oh, so good. That was delivered awesome. I forget her name now. The girl with, like, the mushroom cut, um, the one that's called Mike. Oh, I can't stand her. So annoying, her screaming this. I'm just like, shut the fuck up. I mean, even one of the characters in this movie is like, shut up, shut the fuck up, basically. Tell me, shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, she's so annoying. But anyways, you don't really get a whole lot of other kills. Um, yeah. Uh, then they're going towards, um, what's it called? The uh, uh, conduction, electric conductor, conjunction. Is that what it's called? Oh, I forget. But anyways, <clears throat> where the, where Amity Island has all the power running from. Um, that, that's actually, 
um, when they built that uh, set, it was, it's it's built out of fiberglass and it kept um, like like drifting away from them while they were filming this. So they had a lot of problems just with that set piece. Um, yeah, uh, they uh, they had to like chase after it. It almost went to Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> and some of this uh, film was filmed in uh, Martha's Vineyard and then the rest of the film was filmed in Florida just because Martha's Vineyard was really they had a real tough time filming this movie um, there and I do believe they were filming in the winter time in this in this movie, so the water was cold as fuck all the time. The fall and the winter, they were filming this. So the actors had to uh, put ice cubes in their mouth, like just to be like in that water. Um, in one of the scenes, um, Mark Clifton, who plays Sean Brody, said that when they were shooting uh, one of the scenes, uh, on the makeshift of the raft when all the yachts are destroyed. Um, they were circled by like actual like hammered head sharks and they were like screaming at the film like a uh, crew to like there's actual real sharks and they're like yeah 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 hey how's it going guys because they're like just thought it was part of their scene that they're like um, acting out and there really was hammerhead shark um, floating around there. I thought it's kind of <laughs> fucking funny, man. Could you imagine if something happened to one of the actors? Uh, because because uh, <laughs> the uh, film cast is like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, you do, you guys are doing great. <laughs> like, fuck, that'd be pretty messed up. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> So yeah, one of the uh, other one of my favorite kills in this movie is when uh, the air, um, the helicopter uh, is looking for the kids uh, that Chief Brody like uh, called in, and uh, so the helicopter comes down and uh, throws them a line. And he was going to take them to Cable Junction. Yeah, that's what it's called, Cable Junction. He was going to drag them there. And uh, and then the shark's like, no, you're not going anywhere, motherfucker. Smart shark, man. I'm telling you, the shark is smart. And he, uh, the guy's like, oh, shit. And I, I love how that scene was filmed because he's, like, going to turn on the switch to, like, uh, fly up, like he was about to go up and then he starts going up a little bit and then all you see is the shark's like mouth open and, and it just, oh, it's great. Anyway, so he's, the shark fucking takes down the helicopter. Now they're like really screwed now. Anyways, uh, it's great. And they just keep drifting over to by cable junction and uh, yeah, another, uh, it's not a great kill or great, uh, it's kind of cool to see, um, one of the girls, uh, gets eaten whole by this fucking shark, it comes out of the water and just, like, swallows her, uh, I thought it was great, it's not, like, the best killer, there's not that much suspense in it, it's just kind of a cool a visual effect to see. Um, anyways, uh, yeah. Now Brody's going towards Cable Junction now. Well, he meets up with uh, his son Mike and whatnot. And uh, that, yeah, he's going towards Cable Junction now. And uh, he sees the kids and uh, yeah, and then he throws them a line to pull them, to take them over to Cable Junction with his boat. 
and then the fucking shark just comes in between the yachts and just like his head like the way it just rips through it and pokes so oh, it's awesome great it's great uh, visual effect there too it's great and uh, they're all screaming and they fall in the water some of them and, and then they go and Oh, it's just, it's awesome. And then Brody's like, oh shit, he gets startled and scared by the shark that when he popped out. So he like drives his boat right into the fucking cable junction place. And then that's when like the shark's like basically circling around them. And so Brody's like, throws like one of those, um, like, uh, uh, blow up like boat things and he got one going and then well he, he's pulling up he want when he want he threw the cable and then he, he threw when they threw over the ropes he was going to put in the cable and then drag it over but then he got um, caught up on the power line thing on the bottom and uh, he pulls it up, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to kill this fucking shark with this. <clears throat> so you see him going down the cable, and then he gets in his little rowboat. He's like, come on, come on. He gets the shark's attention, like with the sand. kind of funny but no I wouldn't put that in but it would have been kind of funny though if someone's like someone wants shark tonight eh, like fuck anyways yeah so and then that's how the movie ends and uh, that's Jaws 2 for you so, uh, yeah my first impression when I watched this movie I liked it I always liked the first one way better though um, the characters in this movie, like I said before, aren't that great. Like, um, Chief Brody and Helen Brody are definitely, and Mike's okay, are my favorite characters. Tina wasn't too bad either. She, she's not a bad actress or anything. I like, I didn't mind her. Um, everyone else though, like, whatever. I don't care. Um, what else? Yeah, some of the effects are decent. Um, and you get the, uh, yeah, the same score again a little bit. Yeah, the music, not bad. Um, yeah, like, like I said before, like, It's just not much suspense in this one, I find. So, 
I mean, like, it's got its moments. Like, nothing like the first one. But anyways. All right. So, the set design, like, nothing too special. Like, they're just out in the ocean again. Um, like, the cable trunks, the thing was kind of cool. But, I don't know. Nothing that special um so yeah uh this movie uh its budget was 20 million dollars a big budget um the box office pretty good 208 million dollars like yeah that was it was good um uh I recommend this movie. Yeah, for sure. I do, man. It's like I said, you you could have done without it. Like Josh should have just been a one off, right? Or at least make a prequel to it. That would have been fucking ten times better and scarier and it probably made would have made them more money than the two hundred and eight million they made off this. And if if they had Spielberg to come back and do it. But um that other director, he even thought that too, right? So, um, with that other director, he could have even done himself, but the studios shut that down. Yeah, whatever. Uh, they suck. Um, <laughs> no good fucking ideas ever. They always shut down all the good ideas. Anyways, um, yeah, I recommend this movie for sure. Um, and I give this movie... I want to give it an 8. It's good. It's good. Yeah, I give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, alright. And with that, that is Jaws 2. Alright. Cheers, everyone. Bye.